Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question first. The given graph describes the distance of a car from a city P at different times when it is traveling from city P to city Q, which are 350 kilometers apart. Study the graph and answer the following. Let us first try to understand our graph. We are given time on the x-axis. And we are given distance travelled from P in kilometers on the y-axis. That means the graph is showing the distance travelled by the person at different time intervals. First part of our question is asking what information is given on the two axes. Clearly x axis gives the time while the y axis is giving the distance from P. Let us read the second part. From where and when did the car begin its journey? It is given in the question that the car is starting from the city P. But to find the time, we see that at 8 am the car is starting so we will say the car starts from the city P at 8 am and we, should, we shall answer the car starts from city P at 8 am. Third part of our question asks, how far did the car go in the first star? From the graph, we know that he started at 8 am and the first hour of travel would be from 8 to 9 am and at 9 am he is at 50 kilometers. That means he travelled 50 kilometers in the first star. And hence the answer, the car travelled 50 kilometers during first hour, that is 8 am to 9 am. Let us read the fourth part of our question. How far did the car go during the second hour and the third hour? Let us see how far did the car go in the second hour. The second hour of travel is from 9 to 10 am. At 9 am he is 50 kilometers. At 10 he reaches 150 kilometers. That means the distance travelled in the second hour is 150 minus 50 that is 100 kilometers. Similarly for the third hour that is from 10 am to 11 am. At 10 he is at 150 kilometers from P. At 11 he is at 200 kilometers from P. That means distance travelled is 200 minus 150 that is 50 kilometers. Hence we can write that the distance covered by the car in second hour is 100 kilometers and in the third hour is 50 kilometers. Let us read the fifth part of our question. Was the speed same during the first three hours? How do you know it? We can say 
that since we already calculated that in first hour car traveled 50 kilometers in the second hour it traveled 150 kilometers and then in the third hour it traveled 50 kilometers that means speed is changing every hour and hence it cannot be same and we answer that since car is traveling different distances in the first hour second hour and the third hour hence speed cannot be same in the first 3 hours sixth part of our question asks did the car stop for some duration at any place justify your answer let us study the graph to answer the question we find that at 11 am the car is at 200 kilometers from the city p now after 1 hour that is at 12 noon again it is at 200 kilometers from the city p that means from 11 to 12 the car was at the same distance and hence it did not travel any distance from 11 to 12 the horizontal line on the graph is illustrating that the car stopped from 11 to 12 and no distance was traveled hence we answer that we find car was 200 kilometers from city p at 11 am and also at 12 noon this means car stopped from 11 am to 12 noon let us read the seventh part when did the car reach city q let us study the graph we know that city q was 350 kilometers from city p that means we will have to see at what time did the car reach 350 kilometers distance you will see the corresponding time and find that at 2 pm car reached point q or the city q and hence we answer that car reached city q at 2 pm